Hi friends and welcome to Did You Art, the YouTube channel for people who don't take themselves or their art too seriously. So today I want to share with you an ongoing project that I do on a weekly basis. What I like to do is send my parents a handmade postcard every single week. I have skipped a couple weeks, I will admit that. Um, but I like to hand paint uh, watercolor postcards and then use a typewriter that actually belonged to my mother when she was in college. I'll type out a little note on the back and then just send it off to them once a week. And I think it's a nice little thing to do. It's like, hey, just checking in, thinking of you. And uh, yeah, so I thought I would show you guys what I created this week. So I'm not going to lie. I had a couple failed attempts at doing this. I'm doing a Gerber Daisy and I'll tell you why in just a second. So the first one was just really too saturated, way too bright. I do like the border on this, but no, this just wasn't really something that I was feeling. And then the second one just got way too blobby because I was using some new art materials that I'm not super experienced with. I think this was the Liquitex acrylic and it just, it wasn't cohesive. I wasn't happy with how this turned out. So third try, I'm happy with. And this is kind of a departure from my usual style where I go in and I outline all the different things that I'm uh, painting. I actually wanted to just keep this really loose, free, and organic. So I was really tempted to go back in with my Micron and outline everything, but I'm like, no, don't overwork it. Let's just leave it as is and send this off in the mail. So let me show you guys how I made this and hopefully you enjoy. So look at these absolutely stunning Gerber daisies. My mom gifted these to me when I came up to visit her and my dad this weekend. Look at these colors and look at the patterns in them. How can you not be inspired just looking at these beautiful works of art? So I thought as a thank you, I would send my mom a little postcard with one of the daisies. So I love to use these Strathmore watercolor postcards. I picked these up on Amazon and I just actually ordered a bunch more and they come in sets of three now, which I think saves you some money. I think I paid like 12 bucks for a, a three pack, which is pretty sweet. So to write on the backs of these postcards, I like to make things super challenging for myself and use a typewriter. Now this typewriter has special meaning because my mom gave it to me a couple months ago. This was the typewriter that she used in college and it stayed in our family for years and years. So I like to bust it out and use it for various pieces. But to be perfectly honest, I do have a hard time using it just because mainly the postcards are so small that it's hard to get the word centered, but it's okay. It's kind of charming and whimsical and I'm all right if the, the words and the letters don't line up exactly right. So now I am drawing on the other side of the postcard. I did three circles because I looked at the daisy and I saw that there were three distinct sections of each flower. And I'm just going in with a hard pencil and drawing the outline of all the little petals in there. Believe it or not, this was really hard. You look at the flower and you think, oh, daisies are simple, it's just petals. But to get the perspective right, to get the shading and the colors right, it was actually tough. So for this piece, I decided to use my Prima watercolors. This is the Tropical Tropicals set. I picked this up at Hobby Lobby with my 40% off coupon a couple months ago, and I really have been enjoying using this palette. I'm gonna start off with doing a wash just to lay down the shadows and um, get some curvature to the petals. Of course I had to go with the hot pink daisy. You guys know me. If you follow my channel, you guys know that I always gravitate toward like hot pinks and turquoise blues. And I actually will use tur turquoise on the background of this, of course. So like I said, I'm just going around the daisy, giving it a light wash. I'm still trying to figure out how to use these um, brushes. These are, I think the squirrel hair brushes I was gifted for Christmas. They hold a lot of liquid and it's a little tricky to control it. But practice makes perfect, right? And that's really what this is, this whole entire piece. This is practice for me, even though I'm gifting it to my mom. Well, let's face it, mothers love everything that we do, <laughs> especially with artwork. It always goes on the fridge. I'm 36 and my mom still puts my artwork on the fridge, which I really appreciate. 
So yeah, is this daisy going to turn out absolutely perfect? Is it going to be a work of art? No, that's okay though, because what I can do is revisit this in a couple months or even a year and take a look at how this turned out and then see what I could improve upon. And if my skills have advanced, I can create something even better. So now I'm going in with my white acrylic ink just to give it uh, a little bit of highlights on each petal. I like using this acrylic ink with watercolor because it really pops, it's very opaque. It will tone down a little bit as it dries, but uh, yeah, a lot of times I fail to leave white on my watercolor pieces, so this is kind of like my saving grace. So I'm just going around giving it little dots of white here and there. And like I said, I'm keeping this really loose and flowy, very organic. And you know me, I have a tendency to outline pretty much everything, and I really fought back hard on that desire to really go in with a dark pen like a micron and outline every single petal, every single shape. Just kind of let it, let it do what it do. Let the water just go with the flow. Now one thing I did notice as I was going through this painting process is that there are some proportion issues. Um, I probably could have done a little bit more with the shading on the bottom petals. Now that I'm looking at this for the voiceover, that might have given it some more dimension, but that's all right. We just learn as we go along. And there's that gorgeous turquoise. This is from my pastel palette from Prima. Again, I picked this up from Hobby Lobby. And then I just wrote thank you on it and it's good to go. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And in the meantime, don't forget to art.